Okay, in today's tutorial, we're going to make an animated product button or product tile. Uh, this has a couple different neat little animations in it. So when you hover over, you can see uh, we've got a pattern reveal, a can animates and hovers, and we've got a button that slides in. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Let's get right to it. All right, so I've got my can image, my can asset, and I've got my pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my can and I'm going to turn it into a component. And then I'm going to add a variant. And in this variant, I'm going to select my image. And I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. And then I will make another variant. And I'll select that image. And I'm going to bump it up maybe 20, 30 pixels. Uh, and that's to make our bouncing can. So now I'm going to go into prototype. And I'm going to prototype this variant to that one on an after delay of one second. We're going to do a smart animate. Uh, we'll go 600 and then we'll go to this variant and prototype it back up after delay one and smart animate of 600. Uh, and actually I think what we'll do is we'll make that linear and that'll just make the uh, that'll just make the animation a little a little nicer. Okay, and that should give us our bouncing cam. So now we're going to make our tile. So we're going to create a new frame. We'll maybe go 400 by 500. I'm going to give it 20 border radius, and I'm going to give it a linear fill. Just pick a nice teal color, I guess this would be. And then I'm going to drag that down. I think maybe if I just drag this in like that, just kind of give us a nice little, little studio background. Um, so now I'm going to grab my can asset. I'm going to drop it in center it that looks good uh, we're also going to put a button in so I've got a couple different buttons I'll use this one which is bleeding huge that's all right we'll set that to by That is a huge ass button. Let me just shrink that a little bit. That's better. Maybe like 15. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a better buy now button. Cool. Okay, and now we need to add our pattern. So we'll drag our pattern in. We'll just center it. And I'm actually gonna rotate this pattern just a bit. Well, it cuts the edges off a little bit, so that's okay. We'll just make it a bit bigger. And rotate it like that. Okay, so now what we need to do for our pattern, because we want it to animate in um, kind of with, I use some circles, we're going to draw a few circles on top here. So I'll put one... You know, you could line them up with these, that would make sense, but, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to put one here, and, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to drag that there, and I think that's probably going to be good, and I'll duplicate that, and I'll bring it down there, and I'll duplicate it. And we'll bring it a little smaller. Bring it in here. Just enough to cover this stuff up. So now that it's all covered, I'm going to select all my spheres. I'm going to do a union. I'm going to drag them below my pattern. I'm going to group my pattern and my union. And then I'm going to use as a mask. And we'll call this pattern. 
Okay. We now drag that behind everything and we are good to keep going. So now we'll call this product tile. Okay, create a component, add a variant. This variant will be our hover state. So we will select our can asset, switch it to the second variant. I might actually move it up just a little bit too for fun. There we go. Oh, the first thing we need to do is actually in here, we're gonna take that, we need to make sure that our uh, clip content is on and we're gonna take that button. We're just gonna scoot that down. Bye-bye. There we go. Okay, so now this is our hover state. That's looking good. Um, the one thing I am gonna do is go into pattern here. I'm gonna go to our pattern and I am gonna rotate it back to like that. All right. So now I've got a pattern that rotates in. This is all good. This is kind of looking like what I showed you earlier. And now for the default state, we're actually gonna go into the pattern, expand the union, and we're gonna select our clips. And we are going to shrink it as small as you can. And then I'm actually just gonna go in here and hit one. We will go to the next eclipse, or ellipse. Eclipse is something different. Shrink it as small as we can. Hit one. And then this guy. We will also shrink. I was hoping he'd go kind of behind the can, but that's all right. Look, you went right to one. Okay. Now we have our initial state and our hover state. So now all we have to do is go prototype, drag an interaction over while hovering. We will ease out. And I think we're going to do 200 on this one, make it a little quicker. Okay. That should do it. So now if I create little frame here select our product tile drag that in and we prototype this God, here's hoping it works we have our initial state and on hover look at that our pattern animates in it rotates, our can hovers, and our buy now button slides in. So there you have it, an animated product tile on hover. Pretty cool stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. If you've got a better way to do it, throw it in the comments and we'll chat about it. Uh, check out my other tutorials. Check out my other channels. And again, thanks for watching.